my channel Billy here. So first off, I would like to thank you all that support nyo sa akin for my great content creating I have now reached 1,000 subscribers on YouTube and 300 likes on my Facebook page I know it's simula pa lang ito there's more to come after this so gusto ko lang simulan with a short review on an i1 series na napanood ko last year pala last year pa I like its cinematography, the way it presented different mental health topics, and I'm try. I will try to explain kung bakit masyado tong dark or edgy or anything like that para may para bas mainstream. So it's already a hint. The series is Project Feb 14, one of Dreamscape Entertainment's offerings for 2019's I Want. It's directed by Jason Pollaxamana. And the cast is Jane Oynesa as Annie, McCoy De Leon as Rick, and JC Santos as Cody. Kumbaga, it's created dial. It's going to be a different Valentine's Day offering. Far from the usual Pakidigalig movies. This was conceptualized long before. I cannot remember when. Nakita ko lang sa siguro sa tweet ni Direct JP. This was submitted sa iba't ibang film studios but was not considered until it became this I Want series na nagtatakal sa iba't ibang mental health issues. And because may mga tendencies itong pinapakita na the characters would take their own lives at some point. It's not really that appropriate for mainstream TV viewing. Kasi, even though you're brave enough to watch this, baka may mga triggers kayong ma... Uh, Mafi feel throughout the series. Thankfully, wala akong nalamdamang triggers. I was brave enough to watch despite myself having this mental condition and that may be... So let's start with the cinematography. Magandang cinematography niya. It's... What you call 21 to 9? Can you... Can anyone expound what it is muna? Baga sa HDTV may may mga letterbox pa siya sa taas at baba para yung wider screen niya mas kitang kita pa yung color grading niya naman inakma talaga sa mga eksena like if this is a dark dark scene minamatch yung color grading tsaka yung sa isang eksena na nagsushoot sila it's where Jane Oyneza is wearing a pink and is it blue or lavender outfit? Binagayan din ng color grading doon. Yun yung nagustuhan ko sa Project Pep 14, the color grading and cinematography. Did like JP did a marvelous job John and also yung acting ng main cast. It's already a given na uh, Magaling si Jane Oynesa sa mga MMK episodes niya. And here it's also yet another brilliant performance from her as Annie Mariano. She is, she here, yung role na Annie, is an 18 year old woman na parang may what you call mga thoughts about yung. S word. Tapos balak pa ni Danny Makoy as Bricks na gawin on Feb 14. They both did an amazing acting there. Lalo na dun sa mga eksena ng may intimate kissing scenes nila. I don't think I will post any screenshot of particular scenes kasi it's a little triggering for some viewers. So I will just explain the best I could. Tsaka yung role naman dito ni JC Santos. Mm, obsessed siya na kuhaan talaga 
ng video sina Annie at Breaks in Time for what they're going to do on Feb 14. Plus, meron ding parang humahabol-habol sa kanya na female spirits. Just watch the whole series if you haven't yet para may idea kayo kung bakit nakakakita si Cody ng ganon. The way the mental health issues are presented here are non-conventional talaga. Tapos kumagamit pa ng strong languages, that's another factor bakit hindi to na papalabas pa ang mainstream. I do not think na kung ganyan ka edgy masyado ang material, it would be suitable enough for mainstream. Aside from that tendency that I that I have discussed earlier. And by the way, nga pala, <laughs> am I being too redundant? Yung segment at the end of each episode presented by Miss Bianca Gonzalez is really a fit sa mga mental health issues na na present in every episode. Kaya nung hmm, I'm not gonna tell you what those mental health issues are. And the resident psychologist there, one of which is Dr. Randy Dolyosa from Pinoy Big Brother, they discuss kung bakit may pinagdadaan silang ganito, what caused them to commit such acts, and why they might need help. And yung ending nito is something na mapapaisit na lang kayo. Is there a need for a second season of Project Pet 14? I, I think pwede, but if that's how the story goes, then I think it's already enough na hanggang dun lang, even though the ending is, mm, well, hindi ako kasi pwedeng mag-spoil eh. I try not to. Ganun naman ako when I review movies and for the first time at digital series, I'm not really sharing any spoiler or two even in my written reviews. So, before I go pala, I just want to share na na i-discuss ng mabuti nila doctors, Randy Deliosa and Francine Bowfield yung mga mental health issues na na i-present sa series na ito. Kung baga, they discuss na why do these characters commit these certain acts? And what can what could have been done para hindi na sila mapot sa ganon? And it's presented in a way na may, na Gusto naman lang iparating na uh, pwede na maintindihan naman ng mga viewers, mga target audience kung lalo na for those na uh, may mga gustong makahanap ng mga sagot in certain, certain mental health issues. Like, is there a solution para for a person na makalampas ang, sa ganito to overcome this? And what could be done to prevent it? That's how the how, that's how the resident professionals would discuss uh, every end of the episode. It's I think a ten minute segment following the full twenty minutes of each episode. And maganda rin yung soundtrack sa Project Pep 14, particularly yung kay Trisha Denise called Paalam. It's actually my LSS for a while since I first listened to it. So that's my vlog for today. If there's anything that you want me to react on next, go on ng review or anything else, just leave a comment down below. And also, do not forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell button. Because I know that it's not the end of this journey, it's only beginning. And 
now and let's just stay healthy I mean no vitamins have as much sleep as we can and wag na wag nang lumabas kailangan manati muna tayo sa bahay until the COVID-19 is lifted and see you everyone on my next vlog ingat kayong lahat blizzards au revoir